Hello comrades and welcome back to Return of the Obra Din. This is the new game by Lucas Pope, it's been in development for ages. And Lucas Pope is the guy who made Papers, Please, which is one of the best games of all time. So I'm definitely very eager to jump right into this. I've only played this game very little a few years ago when it was still developing. There was a free early access copy. But now the full game is released and I haven't played it yet. So this is more or less a first look at it. As well as just me wanting to really return to the art and work of Lucas Pope, who made one of the best games of all time. So yes, I hope you enjoy this with me, and uh, let's get right into this. Begin. Uh, no fate solved. Yeah, okay, let's go. So, Lost at Sea, 1803, the good ship Obra Din, built in 1796 London, 800 tons, 18 feet, feet draught, or draft, Captain Art R. Witterell, crew 51 men, last voyage to Orient, Cape Rendezvous on Met. Contact East India CY London office for inquiries or testimony. Okay, interesting. The Honorable East India Company, attention, Chief Inspector, Insurance and Claims, London office. The Oberdin has returned. Dispatch to Falmouth immediately and prepare a full assessment. Okay. <laughs> Falmouth, England, 1807. Company man woke me up. Said you'd need ferry to the Oberdin. Not many eager for that job. Seems a bit late if you ask. I didn't. Huh. What's in the box? I don't know. Hoist it up in a few minutes. Hey! How? Carefully. Okay, and we're in. And just first of all, the art style is amazing. Extremely, extremely unique design. I haven't seen anything like this in any game. So yeah, here we are. Apparently we are a woman. And uh, we are an inspector for the East India Company, and we are sent to discover what happened to the the good ship Oberdin. How do I climb? Okay, just hold down the mouse button. Ooh, this looks... this feels very smooth. Ooh, I like this. Would you just look at the art style? By god, it's beautiful. And also, there's... Um, you can change how it looks. Like, this is meant for like the old Macintosh. You can also change it to like the IBM 5151 and it looks like you're in the matrix and it's really trippy. You can also do the zenith. Man, I remember the zenith. Well, no, I don't remember it, but I remember... I just know about it. And you can also do the Commodore, which, man, this looks so strange. But I think we're gonna go for the default. Uh, oh, there's also the IBM 85, which I kind of like the look of. But I think we're gonna go with... there's also this, black and white. Oh, that, that's kind of an eyesore. We're gonna go with the, the intended experience, I feel, the Macintosh. So, uh, let's have a look at the, the bow, or the bow of the ship. Um, okay, nothing much seems to be over here. So yeah, we are um, an inspector for the East India Company, and who apparently own this ship, and we're sent to find out what the hell happened to it. Because it's been gone, and now it's floated, uh, it's, you know, appeared again, but it's empty. Nobody knows what's happening. There's some kind of weird explosion thing going on there. I think it's like a firework. Okay, not sure what to make of that. Let's move towards the the crew quarters. Ooh, and there's a corpse. That's a skeleton. How do I... Uh... I don't know how to play this game, by the way. Let's check up what's up here. At the, at the wheel. Although maybe the wheel is not here. I guess the wheel is not here. I don't really know a lot of... Actually, you know, I take a fair interest in this kind, in the Age of Sail, but I'm by no means an expert. So can we, like, interact with this in any way? Maybe not. From what I remember, you can, like, relive memories of... Oi! It's too heavy! Sorry? Are you okay there? That kind of startled me. Kind of got a bit of goosebumps. What's up, my man? What's the problem? Oh no, you won the... I, th I think I forgot my box. I was supposed to take some kind of box. Well, I feel foolish. But yeah, this animation feels very, very nice. It's almost cinematic. Oh yeah, my box. Take it yourself or open it here. 
Uh, yeah, okay. I'll take it. Okay, there's some kind of book. I imagine it's my journal or something. Okay, great. Okay. Return of the Oberdin, a catalog of adventure and tragedy. Okay, so this is the kind of story. I trust that you now find yourself aboard the Oberdin. I expected this day to come, and my very every intention was to tell the ship's strange tale within the passages of this book. Re regrettably, failing health has allowed me to produce only the basic outline that follows. Your presence on the Oberdin is critical. I leave the discovery of its fate and the completion of this book in your hands. The next few pages will seem bewildering at first. All will make sense in time. That sounds ominous. Use the pocket watch to determine the identity and fate of everyone aboard. Complete each chapter accurately and return the book by guaranteed post to the French Office of Affairs in Morocco. The bargain chapter will remain unknown to you. I possess the details within, but I've elected to keep them private for now. Okay, interesting. Man, this is 124 pages, 130 pages long, are you serious? Okay, um, so this is the journey that it was supposed to take. This is the line, I imagine. So from Plymouth, I guess, down through Madeira, and it was supposed to go to South Africa, but it never got there. Okay, interesting, noted. This is how the ship looks. Okay, this is the top deck. No, that's not the top deck. I imagine this is the top deck. Um, gun deck. First mate, third mate, sound, stewards. Okay, this will be useful. Definitely useful. Uh, the crew. This will be very interesting. So yeah, we need to find out what happened to all these people. And we need to identify them. Oh, this will be very, very interesting. So yeah, our Wittard. We know him. He was the captain, first mate and everything. And yeah, there's 51 people. There's, oh, apparently 60 people. This will be very, very interesting. Sketches of life aboard the Oberdin. Okay. How did we get these? Number one, loose cargo. Okay, so we're gonna have to fill these in. Interesting. Okay, sure. That makes sense to me. Okay, so we're writing a book about this. How do I how do I get out of here? Please let me go. Or do I have to read the whole thing? Okay, I guess. <laughs> this feels very strange. So yeah, this is mostly blank. There's a f Ooh, what was that? Are there are a ch this chapter will remain unknown to leave li leave this ship. Okay, okay. Makes sense. Let's see what else are we missing. Anything important? Glossary. It's this. Tab, open, close, book. Okay, interesting. And here is the pocket watch that we'll be apparently using to identify the people. Memento mortem. Remember the dead. Or remember death, rather. Okay. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really on edge. I have, like, shivers on my spine. This is something very, um unnerving about this entire situation. I don't know if it's meant to be a horror game or anything. I know nothing about the game except it's some kind of mystery. But man, I'm feeling very uneasy already. So yeah, one of the masts is kind of broken. Okay. Okay, so I can use the... Ooh. Oh. Oh, what's happening? Captain! Open the door! Kick it in. Ah! Lest we break it down and take more than those shells! You bastards may take exactly what I give you! Okay, so apparently there's some kind of mutiny going on. Oh, damn, so... Damn, so the captain... Open the door. And sh... Damn, this looks beautiful. Okay, he shot one of these... He shot the lad with the axe, which I imagine was the corpse on the ground. This guy survived. Let's see, is there anything interesting in here that we can find out? We can't go past the captain. Okay, something fell over here, I imagine. Maybe that's just the bullet. That went... Okay, something's going on here. So yeah, it generally feels like there's some kind of mutiny going on. This guy's coming with a knife. I imagine that will be a useful detail. There's some kind of door here. What is happening? Is, are the memories like timed? Or like... Uh, I'm so confused. But very intrigued. 
Okay, what's happening? What's happening? Okay, so I guess we've gathered all the information about this scene. Uh-huh. Captain, oh, this is the transcript, unless we break it down. Okay. This is where the corpse is located, sure. This is really interesting. Three others were present. And, okay, so we don't know who they are. The blurring indicates that you don't have yet sufficient information to determine their identity. Their fate may be known and can be entered now. Okay. Okay, so we have to somehow learn how they look. Faces will become blurred when the information necessary to identify them has been revealed in some way. Okay, do we know his name? Oh, okay, so this guy, was he the guy that was shot? I, I think so. He wasn't wearing a hat, was he? No. So who is this? I'm confused. Oh, what's happening now? Okay, we're back in the scene. So this guy's not wearing a hat, but he did have an axe. So I'm not sure why that memory was showing me this guy. And I guess this is a way to exit the scene. Oh, this is interesting. This is very, very interesting. Okay, okay, let's have a look. So, the end. I'm guessing that was where the mutiny started. Oh, near Madeira. Pistol. Okay, 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 I'm still very confused. So, I'm guessing this is the guy that was shot. Met an unknown fate. I guess shot would make sense. Is there a shot somewhere here? Burnt, clawed, decapitated, drowned, Jesus. Froze, illness, killed with sword. Strangled, struck, speared, shot. Okay, shot with a gun. A shot with a gun by an unknown attacker by the captain. Okay. Okay, interesting. Three others were present. This is the captain, I imagine. He has the look of a captain. Mm -hmm. Mortorial. This person's face is no longer blurred, which means that they can now be identified, okay. Use the book in the pocket watch to gather enough information to deduce their identity. Revisit the memories on the ship using the pocket watch to study relationships, appearances, and activities. Use the book maps, crew manifest, and artist sketches, along with the individual conversation logs, to find a clue about the identity. There are 60 people. Do I have to find out the identity of 60 people? You have to make assumption using partial information. Some identities may only be revealed through a process of elimination. Good luck. Okay, this seems absolutely impossible. <laughs> um, Jesus. Okay, I think this is the captain. I think I can confidently identify this person as the captain. Damn, okay, jeez, this is confusing. So this is the crew, this is a sketch of the people, aha, this is, this oh, someone's got hanged, interesting. So yeah, this is the captain, this is the guy that got shot by the captain, so wait, they hang him and then shoot him, Jesus, that seems excessive, but okay, I suppose. This is sketches of some of the crew members, but they're women on a part of the crew, okay, that's interesting, that's gonna be useful to know. This guy looks official, he's got a top hat. Okay, okay, so I'm guessing this guy is the guy that was shot for some reason. I don't know why this is called the end. Hmm. I imagine, okay, because it makes sense that they were trying to storm the captain's room and shit hit the fan. I'm still confused because in the, in the kind of, situ in the, like, time lapse, I mean, in the, like, the, in the memory, he wasn't wearing a hat, but in the sketch, in this is implying that he was wearing a hat. Hmm. Still don't know who he was. Okay, okay, how do I get out of here? Okay, okay, interesting.
Aha, but now this door is open. So, I imagine this is the captain, and there's another corpse over there. Okay, this is interesting. Before we... Okay, there's something on the floor here. I think that might be powder, or is it just a reflection? There are knives on the floor. Can I open this door? No, it's locked. Also, the way your character interacts with the environment is very interesting. I really like it, actually. Alright, let's see what happened to this guy. Where are they? Must be in here someplace. <laughs> They're at the bottom of the sea. That's a lie. Okay, so someone's looking for something. Somebody's got murdered. Ooh, okay. Oh my god, someone just got their throat fucking slashed. That's nasty. Someone, he, I imagine he attacked him with a stick and he killed him with a knife. Or he attacked him with a knife and just killed him. Okay, is there any other information to some dudes jumping off? With a knife in his mouth. Okay, that's interesting. Very strange. Can I go elsewhere? This is very, 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 very interesting. Oh no, the memory's fading. No. I don't know why, but I have like constant goosebumps. Very strange. Okay, so that counts as something. So, location of the corpse. So I imagine it was the captain that murdered this guy with a knife. Sure. S truck, I guess, with a knife? Exploded? Nope. Killed, knifed. By none, I think it was the captain. That's what the image implies. Okay, okay, that's very, very strange. Still don't know what to make of what happened. So this guy's dead. So this was hap this happened after this guy was shot. Okay, so the, the captain shot this guy, then they broke into the room. Captain murdered this... Is he the captain? They're all kind of... They're wearing, like, pajamas. Ooh, that means it happened during the night. Okay, that's interesting. Can we open this door now? Oh, no, we can't interact with anything. Pistols on the floor, though. Meaning there might have been some kind of struggle, and the captain lost the pistol. Damn, this is very interesting. But also, like, there's 60 people, and I don't know if, like, how long it would take to... Damn, this is... Okay, so I imagine this guy got stabbed by the captain, and then... Who's this fella? Is this the captain? Okay, so that's the guy who got stabbed. Okay, now the captain's... Oh, jeez. Alright, so the captain slashed his throat, he falls. Some guy rushes from behind. Captain smacks him in the face with a stick. He's a bearded fella, okay, that could be useful. This room's now open. There's a lady sleeping in here, okay. Strange. That's a small room, though. Oh, Jesus, those blood effects are kind of scary. Okay, I imagine there's nothing more useful around here. And I feel like it's because it's when we wander away from this scene that we kind of get, like, the feeling that the scene has been completed. I don't know, I'm not sure. I'm still completely, not completely sure on how the mechanics work of this game. Very intriguing, but also very confusing at the same time. So the door's not open, which means I haven't discovered... Okay, I guess I have now. I'm guessing there's some kind of time limit. I'm still very confused. I'm gonna have to do research on how this game works. Okay, so what did we find out? The location of the corpse. So this is the bearded fella, I guess. 
And this, see, okay, and the captain. So this bearded fella got struck in the face by a stick, I guess. Clubbed, I guess, or maybe struck. I clubbed, I guess that implies head. With Robert Whittle. Although, no, I feel struck is more struck with... Ooh, tail, wing, who's okay, nope, that's clearly not right. Um, fell overboard, rigging stairs, killed with a sword, alive. Oh, there's a lot of them could have escaped, okay. Crushed, beast, cannon, cargo, no, okay, I guess it was clubbed. Okay, damn, this is very, very strange. Okay, damn, this game is very strange. Damn. Well, okay, this has been the beginning of the return of the Oberdrin. I hope you enjoyed this. This is a very strange but very exciting game, but it also is... I'm very on edge when I was playing it. I have constant, like, shivers. It's very, very strange and kind of scary atmosphere. I love it. Because you're all alone. It's all it's so quiet. It's very strange, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Please, any comments or suggestions for how this game works in the comments below or any other games you want to see. And as always, um, also, do join my Discord and it'll be great to chat. And um, of course, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.